Hey, this is Jenny Jellen from the episode. I am here with ringside MMA featherweight champion and new UFC fighter Mitch Gagne. How's it going, Mitch? Great. Glad to hear it. Let's get right into this. Four days ago, you get a call from the UFC. Like, that's got to be an amazing feeling. What's going through your head at this point? Uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, you know, I'm still soaking it in. Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, surreal a bit. Uh, it's going to sink in more and more as, as I think uh, as it comes uh, closer to the fight. Uh, it's a great feeling. Now, this is a short notice fight. How does that affect your preparations for it? Uh, you know, it's, it's a short notice fight, but I'm always training, so it's... You know, I ju the only uh, thing that it might uh, affect me a little bit is uh, is eating salad six times a day. I have to drop my weight down, but besides that, I'll be good. Are there any specifics to get you ready, aside from your <laughs> salad eating? <laughs> uh, no, uh, you know, I, I train I train in all all uh, types of uh, martial arts to to prepare me for this fight. Uh, you know. Uh, Johnny uh, Bedford is is a tall, lanky, so I'm 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 trying to find some opponents that are tall and lanky and uh, just simulate what he does. Right, and we know that he does have a little bit of a reach advantage over you. How do you plan on dealing with that? Like I've been uh, dealing with it all my other fights. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so let's say everything does go according to plan. Uh, you get the W in this. How do you think you're going to stack up against some of the other competitors, um, such as division champion Dominic Cruz? Uh, you know, I'm not looking that far yet. Let's uh, let's put this one in my uh, in the books first. Get the W, and uh, you know, it's uh, take it one at a time. Cool. And let's shift gears a bit here. You train in Sudbury with Team Shredder. Uh, what do you have to say to the critics who think you have to come from a big city and a big club in order to be successful? I think it's overrated. I think people, uh, uh, you know, I think people that change clubs and uh, entirely. I think it's it's a lot of pressure on them to. Um, I guess, I, I, you know, I'm not in their shoes. I feel great at my club. Uh, I feel confident here. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, there, no issue there. I, I think, I think I'm going to do great where, right where I am. Perfect. Is there anything you want to say to your fans? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, thanks to all my fans, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, perfect. Thank you so much. Best of luck for the episode. This is Jenny Jalen.